You're waking up. Hey, hey, look at me. Can you see me? No, it's okay. Don't try to sit up. You almost drowned. I managed to save you in time, but... You're going to feel a little weak for a while. Just lay still, and let me see if you're wounded anywhere. Do you have any pain? No? Okay, well, I still want to have a look, just to be sure. Sometimes in the heat of the moment, when you have a lot of adrenaline running through you, you don't always feel or realize you're injured. Mm. I can't see anything. Oh. You look good to me. That's a relief. But if you start to feel any pain, then tell me. What were you doing? I mean, why were you so far out in the water by yourself? You don't remember? Where you came from with your family? Oh. Well, hopefully your memory will return shortly. I think I should stay with you here for a little while. It's getting very dark now, and and if you don't know where you're going, it could be very dangerous to wander around the streets alone at night. No, I, I insist you stay with me tonight. We're safe in this cave. I'll stay with you until you regain your strength. And all through the night. I won't leave you alone. Have no fear. I'll make sure you get home safely tomorrow. Shh. Shh. Don't worry, you're safe. I won't let anything happen to you. Now, lean back against the cave wall. Don't worry. As long as you're by my side. Nothing will hurt you, or attack you, or try to do you any harm. My people are looked up to under the sea. I suppose you could say we're like royalty. And since you're with me, no one will dare lay a finger on you, for fear of upsetting the mer people, upsetting the balance of things. Yes. We mer people are quite powerful. We aren't to be meddled with. Shh. It's okay. I know you have a lot of questions, but for now you need to rest and regain your strength. Shh. It's okay. May I come closer to you? I'd like to sit next to you if you don't mind. You could even lay your head on my chest, but only if you'd like to. I don't want to make you uncomfortable or fearful. You don't mind? Perfect. <laughs> there we go. There, close your eyes. I know it's scary. I know you don't know me very well, but I'm here. Feel my presence. Feel my aura. Know that I don't mean you any harm. I intend to protect you with my life. Shh. Shh you're okay. You're safe. Feel the exhaustion taking over your body. Feel your limbs getting very heavy. Shh, you're safe. Are you warm enough? Hmm? Good. Shh. 
I've never seen a human up close like this before. You're not quite what I imagined. I suppose I thought you'd be more... furry? Or hairy, rather. Like other animals I've seen before. To be fair, I've never actually seen a human up close. Or at all. It's forbidden where I'm from. To interact with humans. Or go near the human border. I've only ever seen drawings, pictures made by our historians, warnings to stay away. The last time one of us got close to a human. Well, let's just say the human betrayed our trust. A male human and a female mermaid. She thought they were in love. The man, he had some kind of human technology. He planted some kind of device on her and somehow managed to follow her location back to our home. The humans thought they could steal our resources and take what we had and, and take us, but most of us managed to escape. Rebuild somewhere else, but our trust in humans has never been fully restored since then. We lost a lot of merfolk back then. So much of our world and culture was destroyed that day. Because of that, they could never forgive her. They banished her. We have been forbidden from going near the human border ever since. But I saw you floating in the water. As mermaids, we have sworn not to do harm. And when I saw you, I... I was definitely curious, but... I knew I could help. And if I did nothing, you would have died. I would have broken my oath to do no harm. Anyway, that's why we merfolk stay away. But you seem different. Different from what I heard, the stories, the tales. Different than I'd imagined, at least. <laughs> anyway. I'll help you home tomorrow, then we shall go our separate paths. But for now, I'm not leaving. I'll stay for as long as you need me. Close your eyes. Shh, rest. Because I can see it's becoming very difficult for you to keep your eyes open. You're safe. And this is not a dream. You're safe. You're If you are interested in more of my Not Safe for Work audios, please check out the link for my Patreon down below. Thank you for listening.